Well, if all goes right, this will be a will it start video. Actually, no, if it goes right, it'll be a it started video. If it goes wrong, it'll be a video of a bunch of guys trying to get it to start. So anyways, we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Step one, make some room. Hey, we got action. We got action. Well, that thing's going down. That thing's going down? Yeah. All right on. See if my, my fancy tie strap, you know, I'm gonna make a bracket. Maybe just not quite yet. Is it going down? Well, it's probably gotten a lot harder. Yeah. All right, I'll be back. I gotta go get a handle. There we go. It's a little better. Brought a jack handle. It's before the triple four, right? It's a 440. Yeah, 440. 400. But with a 440. Well, of course. <laughs> so it, does, it has the small radiator hoses, so it's a big cam four. I can't wait to see this thing. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Did you bring a fuel yeah. filter? No, because I didn't know what fuel filter. Is it a 1,000? Uh, I... Most likely. There's a 1,000, we have one. So I can see if there's any fuel. No, I siphoned it. It has the drain in the bottom, so that's a 1,000, isn't it? Should be. Yeah, can't see. Yeah. Oh, wait, I got a light. Let's try the light. Yeah, I know it wouldn't pass inspection just because of the frame. Yeah. That's all rust jacked, eh? Yeah. Well, apparently, somebody told me that you can take them apart and clean them up and put them back together, but yeah, it won't pass with rust jacking. You know what? For what you paid and what you're going to do, you could put... Well... It depends what you want to do, right? If you want to... Yeah. You know what I'd like to do? What, what I would do is I'd put a nice flat deck on it yeah. and use it as a little daily driver. Oh, that would be cool. I was wondering about singling it out. I wouldn't. I would like. I think it looks cool the way it is myself. I, well, and I think it must have been, because I don't see any holes like as if it was chopped. No, it was shortened. It was shortened. It was shortened? Yeah. Yeah. So the guy that originally built this truck is in Grand Prairie. Oh. He's got a mobile home truck. Yeah. He's got a T800. That's specked right out, same colors, white with the... Hey, what am I going to get? Oh, filter. Fuel filter. No. Oh, did we figure out what kind of fuel filter it has? It's an LF-1000. An LF-1000. Let's take but a it's look. It's a big cam four. Big cam four. Okay, and there's the... Throttle. Okay, that's the throttle. Okay, and that's the shaft. See here, because it's a cab over, when the cab goes up, it extends. FS1000. Is there another fuel filter, or is that the only one? Oh, this is the air dryer, and that's the power steering. Yeah. But I thought, okay, I guess it's in. I was thinking, is there one on the bottom of the fuel pump? No, usually not on these. She's a bit of a fixer upper. Oh, a little bit of sound. Actually, blocks. it's not bad. I mean, this is. A little bit of sandblasting will clean her up. Actually, you know what? Even the treadle valve doesn't look that old. It's blue. 
Blue like yeah. the... Like a, uh, uh, uh. Was it the Bendix Reman? Yeah. Bendix Reman valve, so. Oh, yeah. How's that fuel tank look? I'll go get a. Hmm. Well, I'm not strong enough to get it open, so. Well, you know, we got the gun show going. I'll get her open. I'll grab a hammer and a. Looks like. The hammer is used on the door. Oh. I wonder <laughs> if that one's even hooked up. Patina on them. <laughs> Patina is right. Here, I'll try and open that. I, um... I work with. That is a, it's a typical Kenworth. Oh, it's fuel. cracked. What's cracked? The fuel filler cap. I actually have a, a Kenworth filler cap if this is a Kenworth thread. I got two. Which cables go where? Get your phone out and take pictures. Oh, yeah. That's the easiest way. That's a great thing with these phones nowadays. Any I got oh. a filter wrench. Do you? Yeah. yeah. What the hell kind of filter wrench is that? It's a strap wrench. Yeah. It's a great one to take with you when you're working on the road because it'll fit any filter you have. Yeah. Yeah, I got them big ones. Well, um, put some fuel in this other filter. And some of that APF. Oh. Yeah. Wonder if a person should put half APF. What's APF? It's supposed to lubricate. Well, if it's got a stuck injector, it might free it up. I wonder if we should take this air thinner thing. This is a, a vinyl piece, so we might be able to slide the batteries out. I'll go get what I gotta get. Hey, you got lots of fuel in there? I got 210 liters. I might need some of my bobcats. Okay. I got gloves. I got coveralls too. I should probably put those on. You only put coveralls on after you're here. Okay, here. You can do batteries and everything with that if you like. piece of plywood down where you're standing? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Where the bird? You had to go pee. Okay, did this, where you want them or you want them here? Oh, Probably there, are you? Yeah. Both of them. <laughs> what was, uh, that one's the right way. Positive to the front? On this, on the center one, yeah. yeah. All right. Now we're cooking. You know, it's a good sign when they call for Startang Fluid. Maybe it won't fire, smoke. Fire truck. Well, it probably will with that ATF in the filter. Well, even, you know, these old Cummins. Okay, Mikey. Alrighty. You got this YouTube camera where to go? Oh, yeah.
Mm -hmm. Mickey, you what we're doing. Pass me the starting fluid. Here, I'll get it for you. You get up there, Mikey. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Editing. Hey, I saw a video on YouTube like this. <laughs> Push the clutch in. Yeah, because I'm standing on the tires. <laughs> oh, you got the you got power. We got a light. I seen the tack move. I'm only a little nervous. Me too. Okay. Is it gonna blow up? Ether it. I'll Give let it, it just oil. sit for a bit and let turn the oil. It, turn it over till it gets oil pressure. What's that? Turn it over till it gets oil pressure. Okay. <laughs> the oil pressure just yet. Okay, you know, give her a sniff. A I'm scared, but I can't run away because I'm recording. Here, let's see that, Jim. I'll, uh, I'll work that over here. I figured I should probably uh, not just crank it too long in one. Like I do with the lawnmower? Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> okay, get her. starting fluid. <laughs> yeah, pull that air cleaner out. You might be full of mice. Doesn't look too good. Nope, it's medical. Nope. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. I'll tell you when. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Side. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that big old knock. I'm terrified, well, but I can't run away because I'm recording. Off. Yeah, well, it's starting to get compression now, anyways. Hit the start and the cylinders. Yeah. My heart is beating really fast. Okay. Well, get recording. Smells like dead by skin in the roast. <laughs> you hear my horn? 
Totally. Oh, God. starting it again to see if it'll start? Oh yeah. Okay. Gonna start it. <laughs> Can you give us a thumbs up? That's a good one. That's a good one. Hey Mike. Yup. Your airbags all came up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Must be a TRP airbag. <laughs> Get your airbags at TRP. Peter Pacific, actually. Have you got, have you got vice grips in here? Yeah, Just I do. that line off. Is that line or the... Too late. Oh. <laughs> shut the valve off? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing how that works. Maybe okay. I get out of here. Okay, let's uh, actually I'll try backing it out of here. Let's put that air cleaner in. Actually, I should air up the tires first because I don't yeah. want to. Let's get this in and we'll uh, just this drop man the is amazing. Like a big bag on the I'm still oh, just well, recording. If, if the brakes actually release, you're driving at home? Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, the verdict is she runs, boys. What do you think? It's not even leaking air. Like, I got the tidy tank going here so you can't hear it, but um, the frame is definitely badly jacked with the corrosion, but uh, oh my God, like it actually runs incredibly well. It does miss like they said it would, um, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked. But yeah, so check it out. airbags we got the brakes released we just had to beat this one off this is pretty oh that broke right off huh yeah i think it's a tow job but that's okay we'll um we'll get her cleaned up um these are actually catalytic mufflers who knew i know that now <laughs> she's alive See if it's still got air. Uh, uh, look at that. 
110 PSI. I've had it shut off for probably 50 minutes, maybe 20 minutes while I uh, put some fuel in the tank and uh, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I mean, yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty worse for wear, but my gosh, look at that, eh? I had actually up to 60 pounds of um, oil pressure and uh, you know what? I was thinking about driving it home, but I think, I think maybe the smart thing to do is to uh, just call a tow truck and uh, that's what we'll do. We'll use a tow truck to get her home, but um, yeah, she's alive. I just need to get this brake pedal working. Well, guys, it's official. She's a running and a driving. And it's not leaking air. The beauty of it is, is it's got maxis. The brakes don't work. Well, I should say the brakes probably work, but the treadle valve doesn't work. So really, when you're moving it, you just gotta apply the maxis. I was thinking about taking it home, but I don't know. Do you think I'd get through town just to apply the maxis when I get to a light? But uh, what do you think, Liam? Do you think we can get home? Should we drive it? No? They will make her home. I don't know. I think Liam thinks we should take it. Chase, do you think we can make it? No, maybe not. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is it. The MC and the Bear. It's coming soon. I'm gonna call a tow truck. I was gonna drive it home, but you know what? I don't have enough time, so I think maybe I'll just tow it home. That and the fact that uh, let's just say, be happy with the progress we made, and don't bite off more than you can chew. So we'll call the wrecker. We'll tow her home. You know what? Check it out. Like. I know I'm supposed to end this vlog, but it's aired up. There's air in the bags. It's not, you hear that sound? It's not leaking. I aired up the tires a little bit. It's been sitting here while we uh, BS for a bit. And uh, let's crawl inside and just take a quick look at how much air is left. So check this out. 120 PSI. This thing's holding air better than a new truck. Sometimes. So yeah, Peter Holt Mike is one happy camper. So anyways, guys, we'll catch you next time. And uh, it's MC and the Bear from now on. That's the handle. Wow.